Hello everyone. So I've got my torches ready. I have got my my um, alcohol wipes ready. I've got my um, heat gun. I've also got my hair dryer here, which you can use. I probably should use a hair dryer, guys, because if you are beginners, you might um, like to. Everybody pretty much has a hair dryer, and not everyone has a heat gun. So I'm just putting this paint away in my tray because I want to clean up my area. Another good tip when you're working with glass would be to sand the edges a little bit. Now I could sand roughly the whole thing but I don't want to because there's there's really no need. So all you do is you go around, I've already done it, you go around with the really rough uh, sandpaper and you just roughly just scratch the sides because I'm going to let the resin fall over the sides and you want it to catch there really really well okay so if I just put it on top of this I don't know maybe if it gets uh, you know hit with something or it gets banged or something it the, the resin might pop off so it's 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 a cheat way really to just uh, do the edges and then let it fall over and that'll hold that and the whole thing will hold each other then it'll be no problem I've done it before many times and it works so there you go now I will just uh, make sure that I've got everything ready and we'll get to starting okay ready to get started maybe we'll start with a bit of a beach in the middle what do you reckon this is just imaginary okay so it's not not going to be a real beach beachy scene these cups are a bit of a pain because see how they they float underneath and that's not nice not a nice thing to do so anyways I'll just put it over here then I might go with the white you can use a syringe or a spoon to spoon it on or even your stick if you want to take time you can do that it doesn't have to be super neat and you can get drips depends on what you're doing really and if you don't like it you can always do another coat and create something really cool I'm just putting some in the middle as well okay and you can keep going like this you can do a puddle pour is what we call a puddle pour is when you're pouring one paint into the other which can be cool so what you do is you keep going with that one and then another one and another one but I don't mind going around I think it's very therapeutic either way really and you just you get a different effect when you're doing it one way or the other way you get two different effects See how I've dripped a little bit? Not a problem in this piece, but if I was doing something which requires a special design, that would not be good. However, there's never a problem because you can just fix things. And I think to be a good artist, you need to be able to know how to fix things. Okay, so that's that one. I might drip a little bit of this aquamarine right in the middle. It looks probably a little bit black from the top, from where you are, but it's not. It's a quite a beautiful, transparent, greeny 
tone that will move as these opaques move across it and over it. It will look um, really marvellous. But we shall see. So that's pretty cool. I'm going to get some more of that white in. That'll change that colour there. Might get some more of this beautiful. So I'm going to work a little bit faster now because you get the idea. And now I'm just going to power through. Actually, it is a lazy Susan, so I can just spin the thing. Right? So I can be a lazy Susanna or a lazy Susan. to fix something on the camera because it was um, it stopped working so I'm just going to go around again with this lovely um, butterscotch and and white mix that one's done I'll put it there and I would like to get some of this actually Just go really fast, or fastish. Like that one. It's very hard not to make a mess, but it's you do what you can do. Okay, here we go again. I might go on over a little bit across. Come on, that's it. I'm going to keep this cup handy because I'll probably mix some more. Oh, dear, oh dear, because I used a different cup, I forgot about my um, platinum. So, where to put the platinum? I'm going to put platinum so a little bit in the middle here. So a little drop, so I'll use this. There we go. It's going to add a beautiful silver accent to it. A little bit here. Go across and go a little bit over here. So just cutting through that quite a bit there. that one and I've got some more of this blue which I will add in between these hopefully without making a mess a little bit across there where I'm thinking that there's too much of this uh, platinum few things you can do from this point. You can tilt and tilt it, get it moving. It's moving down, go this way. And keep tilting it like that until you're happy. You can swipe it, you can use your hand or your glove and spin this and just do a really nice swipe over. Or you can use a palette knife to swipe. You can do all kinds of things. I'm going to add a little bit of this white, or clear rather, sorry. Just in between these, just to help that move a bit. But I will move this paint with the hairdryer. OK, 
okay so I'm gonna I'm gonna um, turn the, the volume down a bit and then I just noticed there is a, a bit of a hair there or a bit of fluff or something that I haven't noticed before so what you do is you just pick that out don't want that in there um, I might okay. um, I'm using the low speed because I've got three settings on uh, on the speed and the heat so I'm using the the high heat and the low speed okay Wow, wow, wow. So only you can see the ins the close-up of this, which I will show you. I haven't used the hairdryer for a while. So. So it's pretty much a perfect edge. None of it leaked yet. It's these metallics, they're just fabulous. So what you can do now is that's really, really crazy good there. I have got some more paint, more resin left, so I can add some more of the paints that I want. Certainly don't want any more of this, um, the metallic, because I've got plenty of it there. But I want something interesting in the middle. So I'm going to add a little bit more of this clear. Am I out? Am I, can you see me? Maybe I should go over this way. That's better. Some of this clear and some of this aquamarine. Uh, it's really amazing. All the little, oh, the, these cells here are amazing. I just hope I don't wreck that, but I don't like this area here, so I've got to do something to fix it. And I actually don't mind that. Um, actually. I really don't mind it. Don't mind it. I don't know if I'm gonna destroy it now by putting this on. Let's see. I'm gonna take a risk sometime. Straight in the middle. And I'm gonna go with some of this. Some of you might be squinting now saying don't do it it's quite a bit of that green tiny little bit of this white just to break it and a little bit of this neptune right in the end and then some more white actually some of this clear got a few drops right in the middle So, and my white. All around it. Let's 
So I want to push that white and create something. Okay, let's see. Dry my hands. I'm going to torch it again. A few bubbles there. You can push it with the torch. Don't hold the torch on it for too long because you will burn it. Okay, so I'm going to use my heat gun now. Just put it on a low setting to get these colors to move. Stopping my crazy Susan from moving. I don't know what to do. Okay. Find another bit of fluff. Get rid of that. Lots of little cells here, which look pretty cool. I have to leave it for a bit because um, resin is heating up. So you want to leave it alone. And while you're doing that, you get a chance to have a look at your piece. It looks very, very cool from up from down here. I do want to tilt it a little bit that way. down that way now so it's just stretching and 
just going around making sure that the edges are covered now so I can add some accents of of these colors where, where I want to okay so I can probably put some of this one here that one done a bit more of this beautiful aquamarine maybe around here a little bit that there looks pretty good creating a little bit of interest. And I want some more of that white. Which is starting to... Okay, so let's see where to put the white. Yeah, a little bit there. here just adding interest now doesn't have to look like anything in particular this is still going to move still going to move and do its thing so I like to add these little lines crisscrossing across So it looks interesting. Okay, so we've got some something cool there. Alright, so I'm out of resin now. There's a lot of little things happening there. I will still work with my heat gun on low speed. Just want to try and move this over, tilt it over that way a bit more. Here we go.
Okay, so what I was doing there, is I was just pushing this out of the way. I was pushing that um, platinum out of the way and going over it and it's popping in between. You can see it popping in between these different colors. So I'm just going to move this a little bit. I've got uh, some drippage here, not a lot. Not a lot, so I just want to tidy that up. Can go around, tidy that up a little bit. Make sure that it's all covered. You can pick it up with your hand and then go around the edge to make sure that it's um, all nicely covered. And you can also I'll just grab some of my. That's still on. Okay, so that's looking pretty good at the moment. All these things are popping up. And I just want to get some more of this, this lovely blue and pop it in this area here, maybe. And then I'm going to blow that with a hairdryer. This is perfect, so I don't want to touch that. What you do is that's what you do. You're just observing and seeing what needs to be done where. I don't think there's any more of this left. I'll tumble a little bit. Put that in there as well. And you can also pick up some of these drops of wicked treasures. If you can do it without making a mess of yourself, it would be good. And you can also get them on your artwork as well. So it's going to keep moving and moving and moving until it sets. So what, I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit this a little bit with the Okay, right, so probably should leave it at this now, a little bit hard to leave it and you'll know what I mean when you start doing your own. Dry and clean underneath here because I, I know I've made a mess down there. At this stage, it's starting to set, and you can feel the board is getting quite warm. So you want to leave it alone. Um, I'm quite happy with that. It does remind me of um, the beach with the clouds, really dark clouds and a raging ocean just you know drawing me into its energy that's that guys i'm going to bring you down so you can see a close-up of it now and then um when it's all set up then i'll take a photo of it and show you that as well okay guys down we go little cells quite a lot of them some of that white action 
And this is just by using those pigments. I haven't used any Resi Blast and I certainly don't use any silicon. Those metallics are amazing. See what they do. And when this dries, it's going to be super cool. Look at that. It does remind me a little bit of the rocks on the beach.